God Gabar here again. Out here on the highways and byways to preach the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Before we bring any scriptures out, I would like to give all praises and glory to the Heavenly Father in heaven, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son named Yahweh Shah. Call Hala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rokakadash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And respect to all the brothers preaching and teaching the truth worldwide in sincerity. And peace and blessings to the Hopi Lake of the nation of Israel. Shalom. We come out here to blow the trumpet. We blowing the trumpet in Zion. We telling you about the things that's coming. The troubles that's coming. We telling you about the day of Yahweh. And the actual day of Yahweh is the day when Yahweh Shah returns, his only begun son. He's coming to bring destruction. He's not coming to bring peace. You know? We tell you all these things. You know? As we tell you these things, you should be getting yourself some order. You should be tripling. You know? The fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahshua should come up on you. This is uh, Amos chapter 3, verse 6, and it reads Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? We'll be blowing that trumpet by preaching his word, by raising our voice up as a trumpet. You know? And when we tell you these things that's coming out the Holy Bible, should not you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans be afraid? You know, should you not be getting yourselves in order before the terrible day Yahweh Basham El Shah come up on you? You know, even these heathens, they should be afraid of the things that we preaching. Because they in big trouble, man. Especially Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Who, who the Bible speaks of, man, as the devil. You know? Amos 3 verse 6, shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city and the Lord Yahweh have not done it? So this evil that's coming, you know, have the evil, even the, the bad things that's going on in the world not. Have Yahweh Bashmel Shai not done it? Of course he did. He does everything. Through his son, Yahweh Shai. You know? And the time, and, and the, even the the uh the times of trouble is coming, the great tribulation, Jacob's trouble. Even when those times come, Yahweh Bashmel Shai is making those times happen. He's making, he's bringing evil upon this world. You know? He's bringing those bad times. So as we blow this trumpet, the scripture tell us to uh, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression. You know? And we tell you Israelites that the way you living it, you living wrong, man. You living it to the court of the, you living according to the ways of this wicked ass world, which is not the right way, which is the ways of the heathen, man. Especially Esau eating the so-called white man. Because the earth is given. So this place is given to the hands of the wicked who is Esau eating the so-called white man. You learn his wicked ways. You know, we telling you to, to turn from that, from that, from that wicked ways, man. And turn back to Yahweh Bashmel Shah, which is the righteous ways, man. The ways of Yahweh Bashmel Shah is life. The ways of, uh, of Esau Edom, the so-called white man, is death, man. Because he, he, he pushes sin. He pushes you to go against you, how about you, which is going to get you destroyed. You know? And we that's in this truth and sincerity, we turn from the ways of this world, man. We turn our wicked ways, man. And repent it and turn back to you, how about you, how about No, if we did, if we didn't repent, we was gonna be put to death sooner or later, man. If we don't
don't want that, man. You know, we trying to get up out of here, man. We trying to get delivered. When the chariots come, man, when your house shall return, man, with the uh, holy angels and the chariots. You know, we want to be delivered. You know, we want to receive salvation. This is why we do this work. Let's go to Amos. For you, the day of the Lord Yahweh is darkness and not light. So the day of Yahweh Bashiach Shah is darkness, man, and no light. You know, I mean, it's a bad time, a very bad time. You know, because when Yahweh Shah, the actual day of Yahweh is when Yahweh Shah return, man. You know, when Yahweh Shah come, he's not coming to send peace, pass out roses and chocolate and hug people, man. He's coming to do two things. To gather his, his elect on the four corners of the earth and to, the, to bring destruction, man. To bring fire upon this place. You know? And to zap you wicked ass people, man. You wicked ass Israelites. Gonna be getting zapped by the, uh, by the uh, UF, so called UFOs. The laser beams gonna be zapping your ass, man. The Lord is on his way back, man. And he's coming to bring destruction. Not, not hugs and kisses and, and chocolates and roses. He's not coming to send peace. You know? Jake got a little stupid look on his face. It's okay, man. You can look crazy. You know, if I look crazy to you, so be it. You know? You're going to be looking real crazy when you see Yahweh Shai come from the skies, man. From the heavens, man. And your, ass ain't in, your ass ain't in order. You know, you're gonna be looking real crazy in those days. Amos 5, verse 19, as if a man did flee from a lion in a bare metal, or went into the house and leaned his hand on a wall, on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Let's read that again. Amos 5, verse 19, as if a man did flee from a lion in a bare metal, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall in a serpent metal. Meaning, it's gonna be a, 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 a bad situation after a bad situation, and you're not going to escape until you be put to death, man. This is what you wicked ass Israelites got coming to you, man. You're gonna be in one bad situation, you, and you might escape that situation. Then run into another bad situation. Then you might escape that situation. And then the next si bad situation you run into, that's going to be the end of it, man. You know? So your whole boss, Shmuel Shah, is going to do what? Bring a great evil that you're not going to be able to escape. And let's go to uh, Jeremiah. Does it tell you that? Jeremiah 11, verse 11. And it reads, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. This is going to be a very bad time, man. You know, Yahweh Bashim is going to bring bad things upon you. Things that you're not, bad things that you're not going to be able to escape. As if a man did flee from a lion, you got away from that bad situation. In a bare metal, in another situation, bad situation came upon you, and you got away from that situation, and uh, went into a house and leaves your head on the uh, on the wall, and then a serpent bit you. You ran to the last that that last bad situation, and then that situation took your ass out, man. So this evil is coming upon you. This evil that's gonna come upon you, you wicked ass Israelites. You're not gonna be able to escape, man. You're not gonna get away. You can think that you get you get away from one bad situation. You you can think everything is all good, all the hell you want. 
but you're not gonna get up out of this, man. You know, because the word is out here. And Yahweh Bashim Al Shah commanded his prophets to come out here to preach this word to you to get yourself in order to repent, turn back to him before the destruction come. And you're gonna be trying to, hey, when all the hell break loose, you're gonna be trying to get right then. It's gonna be too late for you, man. You know, you had time to get right. You know, but you'd rather scoff and walk, talk shit, you know, and, walk, and, and continue to walk in pride, man. That shit gonna get you destroyed. You know, so hey, bad times is coming, man. You know, get ready to. Bad times is coming, man. You know, bad times is coming, man. I, I, you might run into a, a gang of Edomites, man. Them damn Confederate motherfuckers, man. The rednecks pull up in, in, in them damn big ass pickup trucks with rifles. And you, and you, you wicked ass Israelites. You got your. You, uh, you got the, the man, the woman, and they, and they children. The damn Edomites gonna jump off that big ass Ford truck with them damn rifles and knock, knock Jacob side his goddamn head, pistol with them, pistol whip the shit out of him, snatch the woman by her goddamn hair, drag her ass on the back of that damn truck, snatch the kids, kick the shit out of their ass. Hey, the Lord ain't gonna spare, ain't gonna spare all oh, you talking about the kids and shit. Oh man, listen, the Lord ain't gonna spare the old. Middle-aged, young, he ain't sparing none of that, man. He having no pity upon an old or young, man. Babies or, or, or elderly people, man. So all that, all that sensitive, sissy shit, you can get the hell on, man. Lord's gonna bring evil upon you, uh, you damn uh, wicked ass Israelites, you wicked ass so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans, man. Your children gonna get it too. You know, your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your cousin. Your wives, your husbands, your friends, they gonna get it too, man. Cause you refuse to repent and turn back to your whole boss and shine. This word is out here to save your life. You know? Them damn Edomites gonna hop off that damn truck, pistol whip, the shit out of Jake, man. And torture his ass. And take the women to ravish her, to rape her ass. Keep her ass as a prize. Take the little children and do what the hell they gonna do to them. It's gonna be real bad, man. You know? It's gonna get, it's gonna, it's gonna get bad like that. It's gonna get worse than what I just, what I just try to uh, make a, uh, I just try to uh, give you a example how things gonna be, how, how bad it's gonna be. But you, you, Israel, you wicked ass Israelites, but it's gonna get worse than that, man. Edomites wicked as hell, man. They might take your children and, 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 and chop them up in front of you, man. Chop the children in front of in front of the uh the father and the mother. Then take the, the mother and rape her in front of the husband. And he gonna she gonna have to deal with all that. Then they gonna torture his ass, man. So hey, bad times is coming, man. And we telling you this. Jeremiah 11, verse 11. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, I will bring evil upon them, which they shall not be able to escape. You're not going to get out of this, man. And though they shall cry unto me, your ass going to be crying. Get ready to mourn, right? Get ready to mourn and weep. And though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. You're going to be crying unto the Lord in the days of trouble, man. And the Lord said he's not going to hearken unto you. Cause you refuse to repent, turn back to him. You think shit a game. Until when all hell break loose, then you wanna cry to God. God, please help me, God, God, this, God, that. It's gonna be too late, man. You know, it's gonna be too goddamn late. I'm telling you not. You should see, you, you should see the times that we in. We in the times of trouble, man. Just like the days of old, man. The prophets out here, Prophesied and, and people did not take heed to it. They didn't take heed to it, man. And this devil, Esau Edom, the so called white man, is about to get ready to come down, have a great rap. Wait till martial law pop off. It's gonna get real bad out here, man. You know? 
Jake said, no, you're everywhere that I said. But he, did he stop? No. He don't care, man. They don't care. You go there and look at a funky ass car, man. You ain't even got you on the bike, man. Dude, I, I, you know, <laughs> even probably ain't got the money for it, man. You go there and look around it. Let me show you this car. The vehicle that's just sitting there, man. Ain't got the key, ain't got the money for it, man. You ready? You sitting there acting like you looking at something, man. I ain't going nowhere. I'm standing right here. You act like you looking at a damn car all you want, man. Get right past. You, our people don't even inquire what we what we uh preaching, man. What we teaching. You know? We tell you all hell is getting ready to break loose. To get yourselves in order before the day of your how about your mouth shot come up on your ass, man. Wait, I'm, I'm not no sissy, man. I'm not your pastor, and them, them wicked ass uh, pastors in them wicked ass churches, man. I talk like a man. If you can't handle it the way I speak, then hey, you don't have to listen to me, man. Are oh, you speaking too hard? You speaking? You cussing, man? The hell on, man. We tired of you wicked ass Israelites, man. We tired of y'all, man. We fed up with y'all, man. We ready for y'all whole body shot sure to bring this destruction, man. We ready to be like, I told you so. We told you so. We told you to get yourselves in order. And we gonna be laughing at you in those days, man. You laughing at hell, we having eight in weeks. So the hell what, man? So what? Y'all laughed at us? When we out here in the cold, preaching the word of y'all whole body shot. Sure. Y'all ride past and laugh at us, man. We don't care about none of that shit you got going on. Sick and tired of you wicked ass niggas, man. You can't tell. Man, I, well, I, I gotta see it to believe it. Hey, we believe. We had a faith. We haven't seen Yahweh. Always uh, only be God saw Yahweh shot. But we still believe. You wicked ass niggas, I gotta see it to believe it with your dumb asses. Hey, Yahweh shot's about to return. You gonna see that. You gonna see it. And your little belief, when you say, oh, I, I knew it. No, it's gonna, uh, shit gonna be too late, man. That's gonna be too late. It's gonna be over. You go, Lord, Yahweh Shah's gonna zap your ass with them legs and be some cherries, man. You gonna zap the shit out you, man. I knew it, you ain't knew nothing. If you knew it, you would've got yourselves in order when the prophets was out here on the highways and byways telling your ass to get your ass in order, man. Before the day Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah come up on you. Before that terrible day come up on you. Yahweh Shah ain't gonna be hearing that shit in that day, man. Lord, Lord, no matter if you know his name or not. You ain't been doing the, the uh we uh you ain't been doing the works, you ain't you ain't believe, you ain't had a faith, you know, you ain't harking up to this word, you ain't repent. Yahweh Shine ain't trying to, he ain't gonna be hearing that shit in those days, man. He gonna, he gonna put your ass to death. Straight like that. That's not the word of Christ. This that listen, man. You haven't read the Bible. The Lord talks about death that he's about to bring to this place. He about to put a lot of people to death, man. What the hell is you people talking about, man? Y'all try to make uh, the uh, the father and the son to be some type of sissy, man. That shit it, it, it irks me a lot, man. Try to make him more feminine and soft. Lord, it, it tells you in the scripture that the, the Lord is a man of war. What happens in war, man? People get put to death. People been going to them funky ass churches way too damn long, man. Excuse me, brothers and sisters. They get 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 angry, man. The Jake make you angry, man. I'm vexed with this place, vexed with the wickedness of this place, vexed with these wicked ass people, man. They just dumb. Dumb as all hell, man. Back to the scriptures. It's lock you. Get ready to mourn. Let's go to uh. Go to Revelations, chapter 1, verse 7. This, this is about to get ready to happen, man. In our lifetime, that we believe that. We believe this is about to get, uh, we believe that this is about to happen in our lifetime. We don't care what you, if you people don't believe, man. Your unbelief ain't gonna stop the prophecies of this Holy Bible. Revelation chapter 1, verse 7, and it reads, Behold, he cometh with clouds. Yahweh shine. And he ain't coming with no puffy, uh, a fluffy white cloud, man. 
you know? He's coming in the chariots, man. Let's go, uh, let's get, uh, let's prove that the, that when it said the clouds is talking about the chariots, man. Let's go to Psalms real quick. Psalms 104, verse 3. And it reads, Who left the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wing of the wind. So he maketh the clouds his chariots, man. When it's talking, when it said the clouds, he coming with clouds. It's talking about the chariots. What you see on the screen right here, the so-called UFOs. That guy Esau Edom, the so-called white man, scared as hell right now. They ain't got no technology nothing to mess with the uh, so-called UFOs, man. Even the holy angels is waiting, man. They can't wait to take this devil down, man. To the, bring destruction to this wicked ass place, man. That's why we want to be on the right side of, the, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Because we want to see that, man. You know, we want to see the downfall of Esau Edom, the so-called white man. We want to see wickedness be put out of this earth, man. But when he said he come with clouds, it's talking about the chariots, man. It's not talking about no literal cloud. Back to Revelation chapter 1, verse 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, the chariots, and every eye shall see him. Just like you see on the screen. Everybody's going to see how we shine that day, man. Everybody, everybody's going to see Yahweh shine that day. Every eye should see him. And they also which pierced him. Those who pierced, those who uh, pierced Yahweh shine uh, back 2,000 years ago, they going to see him too. How? Reincarnation, man. Reincarnation. The Bible speaks about it, man. Those who pierced Yahweh shine back 2,000 some years ago are back today. And they're going to see how Shah when he returned. Let you, that let you know right there, that proof right there, that reincarnation is real, man. That we've been here more than once, man. Behold, he coming with clouds, the chariots, and every eye should see him. Everybody's going to see how Shah. And they also was pierced him. Those who pierced him back 2,000 years going to see him now. Why? How? Because of reincarnation. They back today. And all kindreds of the earth should well because of him. Even so, our man. People are gonna be afraid when Yahweh shall return. People are gonna be dropping dead, having seizures, catching heart attacks. People are gonna be fainting, man. We can't, man, we, we, we can't wait to that day, man. We can't wait, man, because we, we ready for Yahweh Shah to establish a righteous kingdom here up on earth, man. And put you wicked ass people out of out of this place, man. We ready for them to destroy you wicked ass people. You wicked ass uh Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you wicked ass heathens, man. Especially you, Esau Edom, you so-called white man. You the biggest enemy of it all. You're the biggest enemy of the nation of Israel. Psalms. Psalm 68, verse 17. And it reads, And the chariots of Yahweh are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them in Sinai, in the holy place. Yeah, there's a lot of chariots, man. 20,000, even thousands of chariots. Multitude of, of chariots. Chariots that can, we can't even number these chariots, man. Hey, man, it's, it's gonna be an invasion when y'all will shot come, man.
away, man. It's gonna be beautiful, man. It's gonna be beautiful for us, terrible for you. But I'm saying you, you wicked ass Israelite. up our heads, man. Hey, that, that's salvation right there, man. We always shall return, man. Y'all will will be a part of that elect number. You know? Let's get, uh, Isaiah real quick. I should have brought, brought my glove warmers. A little warmers that go inside the book. I forgot. Isaiah chapter 13. chapter 13 verse 6 and it reads how he for the day of the Lord Yahweh is at hand yes the day of Yahweh by Shemel is close it shall come as a destruction from the almighty it's going to come as a destruction man when Yahweh shall return man so there ain't going to be no peace and love when Yahweh shall come man Destruction is coming. The day y'all about some y'all shines our hand is closed. So we tell you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, and Native Americans to repent and turn back to y'all about some y'all shine before it's too late. You know? Just jump down to verse nine. Behold, Isaiah 13 verse 9, Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, crude, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. What land? America. America's going to be destroyed by the nuclear missiles, man. To lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. You wicked ass Israelites that's here in America, if you don't get beaten up into the chariots, you're going to be destroyed. You're going to be destroyed right along with this place. And everybody else that's here in this place is going to be destroyed with your ass. This is not no game, man. This is the real deal Holyfield. Destruction is coming. You know? Jeremiah chapter 7 verse 20 in the reads. Therefore thus saith the Lord God, behold my anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place, upon man and upon beast and upon the trees of the field and upon the fruit of the ground and it shall burn and shall not be quenched. This place is going to be burnt, man. This place is going to be destroyed by the nuclear missiles, man. Upon you wicked-ass people, the beast that's here 
Everything is going to be destroyed by the nuclear missiles, man, when it hit this place. It should not be quenched. I mean, it's not going to be put out. This place is going to burn, man. It's going to burn. Oh, by the nuclear missiles. Y'all how about some outside weapons? Are oh, you telling me guy got weapons? Yes, he got weapons, man. He got weapons. <laughs> you got the army. You got, you got, uh, he, they say he the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. You got the, uh, the, the holy angels. You got the Israelite men. And you got the nuclear missiles. You know? So, yes. Y'all don't buy some outside have weapons. He gonna use those weapons. Those nuclear missiles. To do what? To destroy America. This wicked ass kingdom. This wicked ass place. This land is gonna be desolate. That means destroyed. Romans chapter 15, verse 4 tells you that all this is written for our learning. This is this is written for you to know what's coming and what's gonna happen. So you can get yourself some order before the, that time come, man. You don't want to be a part of the two thirds, man. You know, two thirds gonna get destroyed. Only the elect is gonna make it up out of here. He saw eat him. Your ass is crashed. So called white man, you're done. You're done. It's like that movie on uh that Menace to Society. I forgot the uh the dude name. The bald head and dark dude. of his eye, the Israelites, you know, it's fucked up, this is us, uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6, and it reads, see, it is a righteous thing with Yahweh, to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. You know? And who's them that trouble us? Esau, Edom, the so called white man, the Edomites, as well as these other nations, man. As well as these other nations. You know? Even you, even you wicked ass Israelites, you trouble us as well, man. You can throw yourself in there too. Two thirds are like trouble us too, man. You know, cause hey, if you ain't with us, you against us. If you ain't for your hour by Shmuel Shah, you against us, man. And if you against your hour by Shmuel Shah, hey, we against your ass too, man. Hell with you. We love our people, but hey, two thirds just gotta be destroyed on the side, cause they can't get right, man. They'll be back in the kingdom. They'll be reborn in the kingdom through the laws of the elect, and they'll be righteous, man. Having the laws, statutes, and commandments written in that will Park. We'll be all right. We'll be all right. Two, thirty ones at that time. Man, over here, they got to get destroyed, man. They can't get right. But to them that trouble us, you, 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 you eat them mice, man. Esau eat them so called white man, as well as these other nations, these heathens. You know? So your whole Bashim Yashan is going to pay back, you know, tribulation to you. Great sufferings. Great troubles to you people, man. You know, and it's, it's, it's coming up on this earth. You know, it's really gonna happen in the kingdom. You know, suffering's gonna really come in the kingdom. Y'all ass, ass is gonna suffer, man. The Israelites gonna be ruling. You know, we gonna be ruling, man. In Yahweh Shah's kingdom, man. And we gonna be joint heirs with Yahweh Shah, man. You know? So in the kingdom, hey, your ass is screwed.
Let's get a. Uh, Let's keep reading. Second, uh, Second Thessalonians, chapter one, verse six. Seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you, verse seven, and to you who are in trouble, rest with us. How we rest with them? And the scriptures, man, holy scripture, man. You know, the scriptures comfort us, man. Shots coming it, it, with the holy angels and the so-called UFOs, man. You know. So until that come, hey, until that come, we're gonna be resting in the scriptures, man. The holy scriptures, man. Resting in the spirit of Yahweh about to You know, by staying in these scriptures, because the word comfort us, man. The scripture tell you to comfort, comfort one another with these words. Verse 8 In flaming fire In 